Okay, so I put a I put a leaf over in here, coming up from the wheel, and I put three little blue flowers down in here, and I think that's good. I don't think we'll add anything more to it. Hey, I'm planning on finishing off the trailer, hopefully. I haven't quite decided. I believe I'm going to paint, like I said, this decoration blue, take this part off, and do the wheels. I know I want to do some decoupage on the front as well, because I think it turned out really pretty on the backs. And I think it would be a shame not to see it on the front. So I'm going to start by painting the wheels, because I don't have to make many decisions to do that black. So now on this part, I'll be a little bit careful so I don't paint the blue. And I don't pull my brush this way instead of going across. And then that way it's away from the wall. So now we're going to paint the second wheel. I think I'll do the front first and then go around. That stick here out of the front. I can probably break it off. And I'm going to go get myself a cloth because I forgot. I've got to bring a cloth. Okay, got my damp cloth. I always need to wipe my hands or wipe the lid or something. So I like to have a damp cloth. Okay, now we can see the trailer. You guys have a good view. I'm just going to turn this so I can see too and just start painting. And I believe the blue is going to be very nice. Of course, I do like this blue color. It's one of my mom's favorite colors, is blue. I think I'm just going to do the inside of the door blue, too. Let's do the whole thing blue. It's just going to be easier <laughs> than trying to paint the little edge. Come along good. Yeah, I think I'm going to attempt to take that wood thing out of there. Peek around the edges of this. Make sure my brush is well loaded with paint. And that way I have a better chance of doing a nice even line. If not, I can paint the front of the trailer. It's always a way to fix what you're doing. The nice thing about crafts, or you can put something over top of it, cover it up. That's what I love about the fairy houses. As I was making my first few, I would have cracks in the walls and big gaps here and there, and I would fill them with moss and put a little flower on them or a little butterfly or something, and it worked really well. You're a cute little bird. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to find a way to get this off because I have to paint it or something. Okay. Okay, I have this hammer I got years and years ago for Christmas. First tool I ever asked for for a Christmas present. I love it because it's wire cutters, uh, it's clamp, hammer. And I've used it for years, so I'm just going to clamp this on here, and I'm just going to break that little piece off. And I'm sure there's other ways you could do this that will work much better and tidy. But that's how I did it. So now I'm going to take these wood pieces out. Probably should have did this before I painted the door, but whatever. Oh, grab a piece of sandpaper. Here, sandpaper. It works for us. Okay. I 
got the knob off. Not too much work. There we go. Good enough. Like I said, we're going to probably cover it up with something. But at least it's gone now and it's out of the way. little bit of white on that wire and I think you can see it better. So it shows up better. It looks nice. Okay. Let that dry for a few minutes. And we can have a look at it. It's all done white. It looks quite nice just white. Okay. I gave the trailer a second coat of white paint. And did a few more touch-ups. And now I'm going to cut out a flower because I'm going to decoupage some of the front. It's called Mod Podge Matte Water-Based Sealer Glue and Finish. This is what I'm using. I got yesterday. Just see if it can be smoother. Anyhow, I'm going to get these flowers on just so. So I have to figure out. That's okay now. Let it dry. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to do it right. I'm just scraping it off with my nail. <laughs> Cut up another one and we'll put it on there properly. And this happens all the time. So and sometimes it's easier to cut if you move the paper instead of the scissors. Space. I'm going to cut this in half and start on the other side. Maybe do that. Yeah, maybe do half the flower. I think that'll work better. Okay, so I'm going to put where I want it. I want it. I'm going to half the do this and then come back to you because this is kind of fussy. Gotta hold my breath so it gets in the right spot. Perfect. There we go. Come on, you. Now we'll just take a little more Mod Punch. And we'll put it over top. And it is better with a little water. Being watered down a bit. My Mod Podge is pretty old. There you go. That's the flower coming out that side. And it really doesn't have to be perfect, but I like to place them so that they look nice. And I think that looks really good there. I'm not going to put as much on the front. That's why I painted it. I think that's pretty. A lot. So. Let's see. A few blue flowers or a leaf. And it definitely needs some more stuff up in there, so.
Well, I guess I will put a few more. Kind of neat because it even rolls. <laughs> Think a bit. Look at the back and see how I did that. Well, we don't have any of these little blue guys. And they look quite nice on the other side. So we'll put some of them on this side. There's a bigger one. I think that looks cute. Definitely need a piece of leaf, I think, to go up in. There's the little leaf up in here anymore. Oh, I like that little leaf there. <clears throat> I think I need something in here. Maybe something in here. Just to finish it off. So maybe put there. Oh, that's better. Oh, it doesn't look like it's just half a flower. Okay, there we go. I like that down there. It shows up nice. I'm going to put a little curtain in here of some sort. don't know how I'm going to do that, but I'll figure it out. But I think that looks good. I have no idea if I'm recording. Oh, yeah. So... I think our trailer's looking pretty cute. Not gonna put any decoupage underneath, we'll just leave it plain. The wheels, I might put an embellishment on just for fun, but I don't know what it'll be. But put the flower in there. There we go. And then put the decoupage. I think that's cute. Maybe we need one more. Maybe in here. It's kind of close to the other flower too, but a bunch of flowers there. There we go. That's darn cool. too darn cute. So, and I think the trailer is done, except for the embellishments that I'm going to put on while I'm doing the fairy garden. So, that's a big job done. A big job done. And it looks, I think, very cool and very unique. And when it's all dry, We'll have to put our lacquer on it. 